Hello, Mark Satterfield here. Thanks so much for joining me. You know, I read a uh, article in this weekend's uh, Wall Street Journal about uh, it's called a salad cost of what in the Hamptons, <clears throat> and it talks about uh, just the unbelievable pricing that uh, restaurants and retailers are getting for uh, for food and other items in, uh, in in the Hamptons. And you know, I mean, the article goes to a lot of the issues around inflation, pre predominantly uh, increasing labor costs. But the interesting thing that was also pointed out in the article was that, especially for out-of-town visitors, paying a lot of money for products and services in the Hamptons is, as they put it there, part of the vibe. And this brings up an interesting question about pricing. Because one of the things that makes people assume a certain level of competence about you, one of the things that makes people feel that you are a unique, high-level provider of goods or services is the price that you charge. And the more that you try to mimic other people's pricing, the more that you uh, try to be the low-cost provider, you are basically on a path towards unprofitability. And, you know, if you've done that, well, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Now, the reason I raise this is is that pricing is an integral part of your overall brand. So when you have people like, uh, for example, my colleague and friend Frank Kern, who positions himself as the most expensive copywriter in North America, well, you know, this really goes along with his brand. Now, yes, he's damn good, and he is probably worth every cent that people, people give him, but the price that he charges is positioning himself at the upper level. And remember that the wealthy do business with three groups of people, those they know, those that are referred to them by those they know, and those that are recognized experts in their field. And the recognized expert in their field is really the brand. And so much goes into the brand. So much uh, in terms of the content you put out, the value added that you uh, provide, the alternative perspectives that you raise, but also the prices that you charge. And especially with the wealthy and the affluent, if you are a very low cost provider, they will immediately make the connection that, you know, you're probably okay, but you're not particularly great. Now, this naturally goes to some services, but not others. We're not going to pay a million dollars to get our gutters cleaned, uh, and we're probably not going to pay a million dollars for most things. But one of the things I would encourage you to do is to think about or to research what other providers are uh, charging for their particular products and services. And benchmark your pricing either at the highest end of that or slightly above it. Anyway, pricing plays an integral role in your overall brand, and this is something that uh, you know is worth uh, worth giving some some thought to. So I hope found hope you found this helpful, uh, and if you're not already, please become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. That way, you get notices whenever I put something new out. And uh, if you know of other people, of course, who are looking to uh, attract more wealthy and affluent clients, please pass this along to them. It's good for them. It's great karma for you. And yeah, hey, yeah of course, it's good for me. So this is Mark Satterfield. Thanks so much for uh, being a part of my community. I'll uh, talk to you soon, but bye for now.